Hello gorgeous Taurus and welcome to your weekly reading. I hope you're all doing really well. Let's take a look at the cards and what spirit would like to bring through for you for the week ahead. Be sure to check in with your own intuition throughout the reading because this is how spirit speaks directly to you. So take notice of the images on the card, take notice of any messages that resonate and really stand out for you. It is a direct message from spirit. Let's take a look at this card here for you, Taurus. Your commitment is being tested. So in some way, shape or form, your commitment to something this week is going to be truly tested, Taurus. By the end of the week, you should know whether you're going to continue on with something or whether you're going to give it away. It does seem like it is something larger in your life. It may be a relationship or it may be a work situation. Perhaps you'll know what spirit is talking about here for you. So your commitment to something you're wanting to pursue or something you're involved with is truly going to be tested. So that's the first message for you, Taurus. Let's take a look at one of these cards here. Guidance for Taurus. This one here wants to come out for you. Let's take a look at the message. I who guide you, beautiful. Dare to face yourself. This week it's important to follow your own inner guidance. And no matter what other influences are around you, what other people are saying, what they're doing, Make sure that you're in the flow of what you truly want, Taurus. I who guide you, I'm being drawn to that and I feel that that's in relation to spiritual connection with you. So finding your true center, finding your true north when it comes to your spirituality. So meditation and prayer are going to be extremely helpful. I am also getting a sense that Things are going to get quite real with you this week and you're going to, I feel you're going to be making some definite decision very soon. But before you make this decision, you're going to need to face yourself. You're going to need to face the reality Face what you're truly thinking, what you're truly feeling, especially what you're truly feeling about something in your life or an area of your life. So there's the connection to self and meditation and prayer is going to help with that. Connection to what your heart is saying and guiding you from there. And also the, the broader connection to all that is source and spirit energy. So you have that as well. So a very powerful week of connection, which will help you with a decision, which will help you guide you in your decisions this week. This card here is yours, Taurus. Let's take a look. Perception. The frequency of perception supports our natural curiosity moving us beyond our comfort zone to find the edges of what we perceive as real and to take a good, hard, deep look at it. So I feel this energy ties into what I was saying before and what I was feeling for you is that things are going to get really real. Things are going to become very obvious, become obvious to you what it is you need to do what it is you need to say your per your perception is in fact going to shift and with this shift I'm seeing great blessings in this I'm seeing the blessings pour in for you Taurus so this is ultimately a very very positive thing for you even if it seems in the interim in the process during the process of change that it's a difficult or it's challenging and things get real emotionally things get real um, mentally emotionally physically situationally the reality hits home 
that's a transitory stage. And I'm sensing that spirit is going to pour blessings in on, upon your life uh, with this perception. Change with the choices that you're going to be making from connecting in with source energy and with your own inner compass. Guidance for Taurus. This one here is yours. The energy of kindness, a beautiful energy, of course. And it says on this card, the energy of kindness reminds us to be considerate and wise in our interactions with others and ourselves and to find the root of our love through our connection to source. So that makes perfect sense as it is right below the energy of connection to yourself and connection into spirit with the card of I who guides you. Be kind on yourself as well this week, Taurus. Don't be harsh or overly critical of yourself or judgmental on yourself. Be kind to yourself this week. We have a card jumping out there for you. Let's take a look at what it is. The two of thought. Now, this card represents that there is a... Um, Initially going to be a block between what your mind is thinking and what your heart is feeling. It is wisest to connect to both of these elements of your being. So they're working in harmony. And that will be done by connecting in with your heart first and foremost. And it says your angels have noticed that you're not moving forward. You have multiple options that you're reviewing. And you seem to be unable to choose. Ask your angels for signs as to what direction to take. Or just listen to your own inner voice. Deep down, you know what to do. Deep down, you know what to do, Taurus. Yes, this is so true connected into the message of your own inner compass. So the aim of this week for you, Taurus, is to have your mind and your heart resonating at the same vibration. So then you have clarity. And like I said, the best thing to do is to concentrate on your heart center and feel that out. And then, then the energy will have uh, the strongest possible uh, connection with your mind. The, the energy can connect from your heart to your mind and there'll be a resolution there. There'll be a connection made. You can see here on this card that you're you are turning away from someone. So this can mean that you are moving away from a relationship or a commitment or perhaps it's vice versa and it's someone else doing this with you, to you. And you will know if that's the case. It may have also happened recently. It may be a job, it may be something else in your life, but you're deciding to shift and move away from this particular thing, whatever it is for you. And you will know what spirit is talking about there. And you're getting to the point now, Taurus, where you are knowing at that deep level that you are going to be needing to make a choice very soon. Let's take a look at your next card. We have the beautiful card of the Nine of Abundance, which does represent that those blessings coming in for you, pouring in. You're on a swing here. So this is you being joyful. This is you having fun, you being in the flow, you being in the swing of things this week. Life is wonderful. Your hard work and dedication to your dreams will provide you with great peace and contentment. Take time to enjoy quiet moments of reflection and leisure. Feel free to buy yourself small luxurious gifts. You've earned the financial security and independence that you now enjoy. So reward yourself, pat yourself on the back because the efforts that you have gone to to secure up, to shore up your finances, or maybe another thing in your life that you have sure that you've shored up that's now really solid for you and looking quite good. 
reward yourself, congratulate yourself, be in that moment and acknowledge that. But I love this energy because it really does speak to you being in the swing of the week and you really getting um, getting things moving if uh, if you want them to if you I feel a decision needs to be made first but you're kind of getting into the swing of that so I do like this energy a lot the nine of abundance also represents someone who is very independent so you might be feeling more independent doing things solo this week or maybe that energy has been around you for some time and we have the sun. You're getting some fantastic, beautiful cards this week, Taurus. Positive recognition. Positive recognition for yourself, um, for effort and hard work, work that you've put into something. And it's not a failure. It's not if you decide to change things up a bit and you decide to uh, shift things in your life it doesn't don't look upon this as a failure don't look upon it as something that is a negative it's just the next step in your journey so congratulations your plans have worked out perfectly and now it's your time to shine brilliant new ideas will present themselves to you and success is all but assured Express yourself openly and honestly, knowing that those surrounding you are trustworthy and be open to unexpected opportunities. So be open to things that you have not thought of. Be open to unexpected offerings, unexpected opportunities, unexpected doors opening, unexpected conversations, unexpected encounters. I love it. We have the three of action. This is about your ships coming in. So we have that theme again, Taurus, of you, the effort, the seeds that you've planted in the past are now coming full circle. Now I am being shown that the sail here, you're going to steer your ship in a slightly different direction. You're going to steer an area of your life, how you're feeling about something in a slightly different direction. And that's totally where you're meant to be and what you're meant to be doing. Things are working out beautifully. Now that your ship has come in, it's time to decide what your next big project will be. You may choose to continue to build upon your successes or move on to something entirely different and be willing to travel if necessary. And this is the whole di dilemma that I'm seeing for you. Um, you are unsure about whether you're wanting to build upon what you're doing already or whether you want to move on to something entirely different. So that's where the energy of being uh, centered, connecting into source energy, connecting into your own inner compass is really going to help you with that guidance. And we have the nine of thought. Stop being so hard on yourself and turn your thoughts toward the positive. There's no need to worry. Anticipating the worst isn't helpful. Know that heaven will provide a solution. If you're experiencing sleepless nights or anxiety over a challenge in your life, release the problem to your angels. Don't allow yourself to hold on to negativity, negative thoughts, um, negative emotions, they are there for a reason. They are coming up for a reason because something isn't in alignment in your life. But don't hold on to them. Don't grasp them. And connecting into the kindness card here. Don't be so hard on yourself. Be kind to yourself this week. You have powerful, beautiful energy coming through uh, this week for you Taurus I hope you've enjoyed the reading and that it's been helpful to you in some small way if you like the reading click the like button and subscribe if you haven't already I really do love and appreciate you all so much for all of your support on my channel have a wonderful week Taurus and I'll talk to you all again soon bye for now